chat is pretty much um, all right here you're gonna get some features like uh, background color if I want to change my background color I can right now set it to mild gray or not that's a little better um, when I click on chat focus then my keyboard goes into that and um, there you'll see my chat time index so then I also have settings here and those are all the chat settings that we saw before plugins is pretty interesting so I have um, the mouse zoom this is a plugin I coded by holding control rotating the mouse I can zoom plugins are features that uh, developers can add and uh, some of them like the chat notify you can turn on or off in the plugins menu this windows will show you different windows that are available if you want to remove the game tree or put the game tree back all of these are dockable except for the map on mine I don't have the map dockable I didn't think that was a big issue uh, my alias lib looks really nice and you can use that for let's say I want to be test one and I will say this as test one and then I move down here as test one and you can create new aliases but I'll probably save that for for a different tutorial these tools are pretty old and not used very much the status bar is pretty nice you can dock this up here and then it'll show you that you're not connected or it'll tell you what server you are connected to and um, the time in GMT that's about the only one I would suggest using this map toolbar it is pretty useless and I don't understand it um, the dice toolbar uh, I I guess that's pretty useless when you have chat you can set a dice toolbar here and get the same effect Where's my alias loop? change that to um, no alias there's also other chat another chat toolbar the alias tool so if I want to set myself to test one down here I can or if I want to use test or a different alias that I create I can but because the, co the code is pretty old and it tends to run off the screen I just leave my formatting toolbars on that's all I really need and then um, let's see here so those are the tools now you probably don't want to leave your password manager off that saves your your room password um, so you probably want to leave that now in the logging level the settings tell you not to change that um, so don't don't mess around with the logging level just don't um, then here in the help we have the about this is a nice little about menu that shows all of the open RPG developers and uh, talks a little bit about the software all of these are links except for the tip of the day you can turn this off or on and click through the different tips available um, but all of these will link to the traips uh, open RPG assembly site if you want to look at the online user guide uh, the change log or if you want to report a bug they'll all link to one of the different traips assembly sites then for the last two features, is this is the Trape Suite I'm working on. 
this is the debug console this I created mainly for Windows users because when Windows users see a bug in their debug console they don't have the option to paste it like that and then we have the update manager here again oh yeah you can clear that out and then even report a bug in the debug console then we have the uh, update manager here again in case you set it to auto update or if you set it to no update and you want to change that or if you want to go through the different controls and options that the update manager has so uh, this is a just a basic tutorial a beginner's guide to uh, what OpenRPG can do and um, I think I will stop it at that.